So you've heard the Speedway starting lineups. Here they are visually. Ryan Taylor has been sick, but he is back for Northwestern. That's good news since they're missing Vic Law. And the fighting line, all that youth, Desumu, Bashanishvili, and Frazier leading them in scoring. As we welcome back in Mike Hall. Hey, Brandon, this is the 54th game Illinois has played in the United Center, and the second one for Io Desumu. The former five-star prospect who's become a freshman star for Illinois is from Chicago. Morgan Park is the high school he played at, just a bit south of here. He is on pace to become the first freshman in Illinois. One of the oldest rivalries of the Big Ten. This is the 178th meeting between Northwestern and Illinois, and off we go from Chicago. Northwestern coming in losers of 11 of their last 12. But it's a new season right now, and this is the man you highlighted in the open, Sean. Derek Parton, but he misses the hook. You can live with that if you're Northwestern. And Bashanis Beely, he's had foul trouble all year. Fouled out of eight ball games. But able to guard there without the foul, and now Illinois, who lost to Penn State on Sunday, dropping to the 11th seed, going to work. Bashanis Beely almost with a reverse. Good job by Parton of forcing him behind the backboard. That's the difficult shot. No, oh, top, yeah. no. Well, the two teams combined 0 of 3 so far. Frazier trying to change that. He lost it. Say the defense straight up. Now games. This is not the pace with which Northwestern wants to play. But Illinois can bait you into that. That's ex exactly right. Hard. Oh, yes. Switch to the right hand there. And Illinois so far not showing the double. Look for them as this game unfolds to give Harden a different look as he tries to get comfortable on the block. Yeah, a lot of teams will dig in that second defender on occasion. Here's Bashanishvili. Around Harden, the freshman taking it to the senior. Harden knows that he has to stay out on the floor. He cannot get in any kind of foul trouble. Yeah, no big law with that right leg injury sustained against Purdue, so they're going to need guys like Anthony Gaines to step up. Nice job of isolating Gaines, able to back the smaller defender down with the up and under. What are they missing without Vic Law? Obviously 15 points a game, but what are they missing, Sean? And also a very good defender and someone that can help them handle this Illinois pressure. Nice pass. Bashanis Billy goes spin splitting the defenders. Bashanis Billy looking like Belishnikov down there. <laughs> nice job with the footwork. He's got the first four for the fighting Illini. And here's that, here's that pressure. But they beat the pressure, and if you do, you get baskets and, like that. And a good job by Kopp of looking off the defender and then being strong. You saw that second hand come on there to eliminate the opportunity for the strip. Every basket so far has been a layup at the rim. Here's Frazier. Aaron Jordan. Taylor with a basketball. Was sick, missed the Purdue game. He returned to practice yesterday. He said he's feeling fine, but he's in and out with that jumper. Frazier, full head of steam. Missed it. Comes down to Gaines. Northwestern, they're running it. Kick out to Taylor. We haven't had a whistle. This is a frantic pace. And, and what that you see right now is Illinois is baiting Northwestern into playing at their pace. The score doesn't reflect it now, but this is really trying to set the tone as to how they want to play. Northwestern right now does not have the bodies nor the ball handlers to do this for an extended period. Well, Chris Collins just told the fellas, take a breath, but it's oh. a pretty quick shot and a bad one by Turner. But as they were going down the floor for that last possession, Chris Collins said, God, slow it down. Over the top, Bashanish Billy. He's got six. And a really good job by Bashanish Billy of riding the defender up the lane. That provided the angle. If he doesn't take that extra step and ride Parton up the lane, that angle's not going to be there. There is our first whistle and a frantic start. Northwestern without one of their seniors, Vic Law.
Backs against the wall tonight. There's Jacques Cousteau. Hey, whatever it takes. And look at the big fish. Hey, I like the otter going after the loose ball. He wanted it more. <laughs> well, we talked about Derek Parton being the senior leader that he is and missing his running mate in Vic Law, but it's been a freshman that's the story so far. Bashanishvili, all six for Illinois. And three of four from the floor. They're really trying to go at Derek Parton. They understand this is a depleted team, especially along that front line for Northwestern. Turnover. That's what Illinois does. First one committed by either team. And De La Rosa in there as well to try to wear down Parton on the block. Some early minutes for Tyler Underwood, number 32 in orange, coach's son. Nice. There's De La Rosa, and he threw it away. You could not ask for better execution maybe a better pass to De La Rosa but he think I think he was more wide open than he thought he kind of fumbled it on that ball reversal and you can see again Illinois really trying to exert their will in terms of pace he got hit in the head a little bit but he says he's okay De La Rosa and with De La Rosa in there coach Chris Collins countering trying to get some rush for Derek Parton in the form of Barrett Benson Greer has checked in but he misses the runner they're going to get De La Rosa with the personal. Chris Collins, six year, 2017, took him to the semifinals. That's where he got a couple of those wins in the Big Ten tournament. If you are Illinois, you have to be cognizant of a jump shot in the corner from a guy like Paul, or Taylor rather, in this situation. And they're going to call that against Northwestern. So Brad Underwood's squad gets the ball back. Second year head coach. Last year lost in the first round in a shootout to Iowa and hoping to hang around a little bit longer. I'll tell you what, the way that they were playing a few weeks ago, they didn't think that they were going to be here on Wednesday night. Kipper Nichols missed it. Nice block out by Taylor on the far side, and Felice was really a big reason. Illinois won the last matchup, 16 to 17 from the line. Yeah, Northwestern won on January 6th, and then on March 3rd, the fighting line I get the 81-76 win. Backdoor, Taylor missed it. Taylor did the right thing, though, utilizing the defensive pressure against Illinois, just came up wanting. Felice fighting Underwood wide open, but he misses the three. Battle for the board. They're going to get a foul against Northwestern. And De La Rosa very fortunate there because he brought the ball down. Good rebound in traffic, but then he brought the ball down, and that allowed a multitude of Northwestern defenders to descend upon him. Fouls the first on Barrett Benson. So Mashanish Billy back in as well as Devontae Williams. Underwood throws it away. Tried to fit it into Felice. Gaines kicks out. Greer catch and shoot short. And Ryan Greer only a point and a half a game. Felice, great pass. But Sean Esfeli scores it and the foul. He has all eight for the fighting line. The quick shot by Greer that allowed that effectively served as an outlet pass for North, for Illinois. They're able to push the pace. Then how about the delivery? The shot fake. You take the contact, a chance for an and one. But it started with a quick shot, and then Police does absolutely the right thing, Brandon. He got the ball in the middle of the floor. Williams sprinted the far side. That allowed Deshaun Feely to fill in behind. Banks in the free throw. When it's your night, it's your night. So Bashanishvili nine and Northwestern four. And boy, that was almost a nickel steal. Northwestern needed that bucket by Derek Parton. Look how quickly Illinois comes right back at Northwestern. They love to run that dribble weave up top. Good post up. Why not go back to this well? Wild shot though. Yeah. Nice help coming down there on the double team. Good job of walling up by Parton defensively. Illinois 
Three of ten, Northwestern, two of eleven. Greer. Oh, oh, of two from the floor. Rebound comes down to Frazier. And Greer aimed that rather than shot it. You could tell he was just hoping that it would hit the rim rather than thinking it was going in. Good recognition by Bashan Asvili that he had. Falzona. But another errant shot for the big man. Gaines will stop in transition. Falzone offensive board. Cold shooting right now. Falzone. The cold shooting continues. You can live with that, though, because it came off a little bit of a screen and an offensive rebound, and Falzone, that's what he does. Prior to that offering, 57 field goal attempts, 50 have been from three. alley you going up to grab it, Williams, but he couldn't complete the play. Shot clock at five. Williams intercepted by Ryan Greer and then tapped out from behind by DeMonte Williams. Woo. Take a breath, everybody. Jordan statue, what would you take, Jordan or LeBron? Coaches and players say this. I love LeBron. Don't get me wrong. He's a, he's a bad guy, but uh, but no one's gonna overtake MJ in my mind. LeBron is an incredible man. Um, I, th I think he's the greatest player of all time. I would have to say LeBron James, and of course I'm a little biased because I am from Cleveland. MJ. Well, Michael Jordan, of course, Chris Collins is a little biased. He was a ball boy, his dad the coach when Jordan was here. Did you notice a generational difference in the <laughs> yes, selection? Absolutely. I'm taking MJ all day for whatever that's worth. Around the arc to foul zone, and he knocks it down. That can't happen if you are Illinois. That's the reason he's out there, is to stretch you out. You have to be there on the catch and make him put the ball on the floor. You mentioned how many shots he takes from deep, but Sean, he had missed. He only hit seven of his last 38 prior to that make. Good. Oh, what a court awareness! And Bashan Billy scores it to Sumo. Freshman to freshman. How about the Sumo not panicking right here? Keeps his feet inbounds, does not panic, and then he has the presence of mind not just to get it back into the field of play, but find a teammate for an and one. That is not a freshman play, ladies and gentlemen. He was about a tenth of an inch from stepping out of bounds. And Georgie Bashanishvili has 12 points. Illinois has 12 points. The rest of the team is 0 of 6. Bashanishvili 5 of 8. A deflection right there. Illinois almost came up with a steal. They can't lose sight of foul zone here in the far corner. Another cop. That's a tough shot. I like the future for that guy. You mentioned tough shot. He's a tough kid. Push off. Offensive foul on Io Desumu. The sumo got away with one earlier in the half against Derek Parton. Very clear. Good call. Now, Gaines kind of sold it he toward did. the end, but there's no question that that was a push off with that inside hand. Here comes the pressure again at midcourt. Foul zone. There's one of three from deep. Good job by Bashan Esfilia coming out there and contesting. The sumo. And still, nobody besides Bishanishvili has scored for Illinois. Harden picks it back up. Cobb pulls up. Rolls around and off. You can live with that shot. Nice job by Cobb of coming under control. And then a turnover for the fighting Illini. Really tough pass, tough angle. That thing really skipped up off the floor on Sumo. Derek Hart, one-hand skip pass. Turner short. Northwestern Sean, five of 20 from the floor.
Oh, they had a good job by Falzone of holding down the fourth to Parton could get there. The shot is Philly. <laughs> He's got 14. Well, in the first game, we saw Palmer score 34 to lift Nebraska to victory, and Bashanis Philly's on pace to crush that. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on Williams. Georgie Bashanis Philly, 52% from the floor. He got started early. That's the first basket able to turn the corner after he isolated Harden away from the rim, taking advantage of a little bit of a quickness back there. Outstanding footwork, and when he slows down, he's very difficult to defend. And the ability to score around the rim with either hand, something you don't see all that often, and that makes you very difficult to defend down there on the block, especially when the double team is not forthcoming. He's going to get a seat. I bet Chris Collins is saying, thankfully, get him out of here. Turner, tough runner. That stops the cold spell, Northwestern. Getting the bucket now, De La Rosa. And he knocked that out. It belongs to Northwestern. Later tonight on BTN, Big Show brings you complete highlights of the day. Plus, post-game reaction, a preview of what we will see tomorrow, all presented by CDW, 11.30 Eastern, right here on BTN. Bad pass, right to Kimber Nichols. And he will go to the line. And with all the pressure that's been employed by Illinois, this one, there was no pressure. It was just a miscommunication, a live ball turnover off an inbound situation. Kipper Nichols will try to be the first person wearing an orange jersey not named Georgie Bishanishvili to score a point for Illinois. And he's done just that. I'll tell you what, Tyler Underwood's getting some key minutes here in the first half. You know what they're doing? They're throwing as many bodies out there to try to maintain this continued pace to try to wear down Northwestern. They're rotating fresh bodies. Almost like a hockey team every three or four sequences to just try to buy some minutes and wear down Northwestern. Turnovers right now, five for the Wildcats, four for the Illini. Top back to foul zone. And he is now one of four from outside. Dosumu will try it. AJ Turner off the foul zone. Now Cobb stepping back. Three. Yes. Really nice job by Cobb of letting the fly by and then court awareness to locate the three point shot using that fan dribble. Cobb's got seven. You said you like that young yeah. man. Last four nine points a game, and Chris Collins said I need to continue to play that man a lot of minutes. Well, because he plays hard, he doesn't play scared, and that's something you don't always see with freshmen. Meanwhile, Barrett Benson just picked up his third foul. Now he only gives you two points and three rebounds, but he can play some great defense inside in the post. Especially the way Illinois is trying to wear down Northwestern, especially Derek Parton. job by Northwestern of keeping Illinois exclusively behind the arc here. Well, Frazier from five feet behind the arc. He had a season low three points against Penn State, and he gets them right there. Up top. No answer from Turner. How about Kipper Nichols foot on the line? No. Gaines to Turner. Oh, oh, no question. I mean, that, there was no doubt about that one. Charging right over and picking up his first personal. I mean, watch the shoulder dip right here. 
I mean, he just absolutely down goes Frazier. Lakeshore Drive, Chicago. The tourney's back here for the first time since 2015. All presented by SoFi. The tourney rolls on here at the United Center. Ohio State and Indiana. They'll get second action round underway, but the second round action underway. But coverage will begin with a tip-off show, and that's at noon Eastern on BT under the Fox Sports app. Talked earlier about the importance of that Indiana-Ohio State game. There's going to be a lot of interest around that one. A lot of interest in the entire day tomorrow. Some really interesting storylines, and the storyline here so far this evening has been the fact that Illinois has really tried to push the pace. Northwestern has tried to maintain that pace. They still find themselves down only three, but this is trying to have a cumulative effect on Northwestern unless they play a little bit more under control. Yeah, it was a frantic pace, especially to start the first five minutes. Oh. How about nice the pass? pass? But Nichols misses it. Uh, you can't ask for a better set, but what a delivery from Bashan Isvili, showing you his ambidexterity. Well done, Sean Morris. Northwestern just 7 of 24 from the floor. Pete Nance kicking it up top to game. How about the job Underwood did giving up a ton of size to Nance? He just 6 2 and Nance 6 10. Nice finish by Anthony Game. That was a man sized drive by Anthony Game. He's another guy that's been playing well and very consistent too for Chris Collins. They got to watch it down there, both with Shaunas Bealy and Party were playing straight up, almost got caught in the hook and hole. Frazier dancing inside. And a nice job by Bashanis Vili of wheeling off, the walling off the shot blocker of Pardon. He kind of rolled him, got his hip into him. That allowed Frazier to turn the corner. And Nichols bumping gains 40 feet from the basket. Bashanis Vili understanding how to use his body and understanding angles, not just when he's scoring, but also when he's helping a teammate score. Watch the top of your screen. He balls off right there. That gives Pardon no opportunity to come over and block the shot. You saw by Sean Isbele. He pulls away. Pardon that allows the turn of the corner by Frazier. Nice job of post playing, giving himself up by Sean Isbele. Trouble getting it in. And Greer does track it down. And then DeSumo is going to get called for the foul. And that's his second. So we'll see if Brad Underwood keeps the freshman on the floor. And the next time down the floor, if you were Illinois, you should take a look at the bottom of your screen, Northwestern, with those seven fouls. If you're Illinois, the foul line was really good to you the last time these two teams met here in the last five minutes. Let's see if Illinois tries to go back to that formula here off the dribble drive. Rear, but he walked with it, trying to go off the dribble drive. noted it earlier, but that last matchup, 33 of 38 from the line for Illinois. That was the difference of the five-point victory. And the guy with the ball, Felice, was 16 of 17. This time, Felice with the assist to his teammate Aaron Jordan. Nice job by Felice of going one way, utilizing the misdirection dribble, and then he hit Jordan, their best three-point shooter, 41%, right in the shooting pocket. Inside oh the cop, the two freshmen connected. Hey, I tell you what, Miller cop, really good job of utilizing the defensive intensity against Illinois with the back cut. Just got a glimpse of the future of Northwestern basketball. So Subu is scoreless, 0 of 3 from the floor. Here's George. Everything but the finish. He made a heck of a move. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on the way up. Cop. It comes down to police. I tell you what, even though he missed that, he shot that confidently. No hesitation. Yeah, you said it. He's going to be a heck of a player the next three years for Chris Collins. But Sean Well, he hadn't scored in five minutes, but now he has 16 points. 
you go into the lane, then you spin away, showing you why you have two hands for more than just a matching set of gloves, Brandon. <laughs> what a first half for the freshman. Harden is going to dial it from deep, and it drops down. Only the sixth three-pointer he's made all year. Police lost his footing. I thought that should have been a travel. But eventually taken away by Anthony Gaines. Harden's going to do it again. Maybe a little too ambitious. Yeah, that didn't come off his hand cleanly. You kind of saw it come off the palm of his hand. Hence that side spin. Good well, job by Felisa maintaining his balance. Foul on the floor, so there will not be free throws. Well, this hasn't necessarily been the most free floor, but watch the pass right into the shooting pocket of Jordan, who knocks down a rare three for Illinois. A lot of the work has done on the other end of the floor, and a lot of nice work has been done by the freshman Miller Cop in the absence of Vic Law. But how about this? You score with the left, score with the right, stand up, sit down. Fight. Don't forget to stick around after the game for the Big Ten basketball post game, featuring the press conferences, the interviews of those guys, all their expert analysis right after the game here on BTN. Of course, right now they're getting ready for the halftime show. 3.08 until intermission. And Illinois with a three-point lead. We talked about what this pressure defense of Illinois is intended to do, which is create turnovers and get easy baskets. They do that to the tune of 16 forced turnovers per ball game. The flip side of that is that they will send the opposition to the foul line. They do that 18 times per ball game. Northwestern has not made a visit to the charity stripe yet, and this is a pretty good free throw shooting team for Northwestern at 74%. Police helps them out on the other end by missing the front end. A.J. Turner. Does it all himself. He did a good job of spreading the floor and then Turner playing through some contact there. Last three games for Turner, all double figures. First time he's done that this season. So he's playing well. Drive in the reverse, but no good for Williams. Here goes A.J. Turner. Kick out to Taylor. Nope, way short. Yeah, you could tell that right when it left his hand. But a foul underneath. I think they got Williams with the jersey grab. And that is the second on DeMonte Williams. That was frustration. It carried over from the offensive end when he was forced to go to the opposite side and left that layup a little short. So Williams to the bench. Brief pause, the officials making sure that they got the foul right against DeMonte Williams. And they're all set and squared away. Terry Oglesby, Terry Weimer, Chris Bieber, the officiating crew. Turner calls a clear out. And drives and rises, but good defense by the Shottish Billy. And that bad numbers. Nice job, though, by a backpedaling by Northwestern. Felice reverses course for two. That's the reason you keep your dribble alive and your head up. They had a number situation, and Northwestern, they're not even going to attempt any second chance points. They got destroyed in second chance points against Purdue. They're among the lowers in terms of retrieving their own misses. You're seeing guys get back to try to take away breakout opportunities. Oh, Taylor saved it. Good job by Jordan moving his feet. Oh, yes. uh, how did he get that out to Falzone? Falzone long with it. They caught Saved it, but threw it away. Great effort, though, by Miller Cop. State Farm Halftime Report coming up with Dave, John, and Andy. Final minute, 18. Felice with the last four for the Fighting Illini. And talked about 
remember, Brandon, and this is still very close, but you're starting to see, I think, a little bit of the cumulative effect of the number of bodies that have been on the floor for Illinois. They're starting to wear Northwestern down. Last two times, dribble penetration, there was no resistance. Harden, nice, strong move. Foul on Bashanishvili. Andre's release, really starting to assert himself over the last nine or ten games offensively. Did a lot of his damage from the foul line the last time these two teams met. Two dribble drives and what you saw, good spacing on the floor by Illinois. And whereas the beginning of the ball game, the defensive rotations are a little bit more crisp from Northwestern, I think a little fatigue is starting to sink in. And you can see Illinois saying, keep the foot on the offensive pedal. Brad Underwood is always saying, keep the foot on the offensive pedal. Or some derivative thereof. Right. It is go, go, go. And they've got the guys to move it. Harden converts at the line. 30 to 27, final minute of the half. Frazier, good kick out. Jones missing his first shot of the night, but an offensive rebound to Aaron Jordan. Frazier. Oh! Strong two-handed rebound, A.J. Turner. And now they can hold for the final shot. Illinois has led this entire half, but Northwestern can either tie or get within one. Five seconds, Harden driving, lost it, got it back. Foul zone. Oh. Little air ball, no look. It hits the fighting Illini with a three-point lead in a very fast-paced first half. Frenetic might be the apt description, especially Illinois really trying to push the pace. Credit Northwestern for maintaining. Let's go over to Mike Hall. All right, thanks. Brad, how do you describe what Georgie did for you that first time? Yeah, we that was our game plan. Let's go inside. Your spot for the Big Ten Tournament. Illinois up three, a battle for the state. They lead the Wildcats 30 to 27. But I'll tell you what, the emphasis for Illinois was to force turnovers. They only forced six and only three points off of those turnovers. And Northwestern also forcing six turnovers and they're winning the points off turnover battle. They haven't shot the ball very well, but they've been able, with able to stand the pressure put forth by the fighting line. I look for Illinois to counter by going right back inside to Bashanis Vili. Yeah, he had a big first half, 16 points. Let's welcome back in Mike Hall. Well, Chris Collins is okay, Brandon, with the fact that the Wildcats have shot 16 three-pointers in the first half because he likes the guys who are shooting him and he likes the looks that they're getting. As for Georgie Bashanishvili, he knows they have to shut him down better than they did. He says look for them to perhaps double him more, and more than anything, he wants to make the catches that he gets when he's inside harder for him to corral. Let's see if they go down to him. Right now, Dosumu, he is giving it to Bishanishvili, but back to Dosumu. And then over the top, nearly a turnover. Lucky it wasn't. Around the arc. Into Bishanishvili. And it deadens off the back of the rim. Nice job of utilizing that baseline dribble, forcing Northwestern to respond accordingly. The good lead, good use of the bounce pass. Deshaun is feeling complete. Last nine games, his uptick in scoring 15 points a contest over that stretch, but 18 already for Georgie Bishanish Billy. Hard spins and scores it. Good job of getting back to that left hand. The shot fake got Bashanis Philly off my seat just enough to allow him to step through and use the window. Hard with nine. Again, no Vic Law tonight with that leg injury. Williams. <laughs> Illinois lucky that they don't have two turnovers already right. this half. In rhythm three, A.J. Turner. <laughs> Northwestern has never led in this game, but we are all tied up at 32. 
Good help by Pardon. So Gaines was able to recover. And give Bashanishvili 20. And a nice job of ducking in, getting Pardon behind him, and then the teammates for Illinois cleared out that side of the floor. You saw all the orange jerseys over here allowing that half the floor for Bashanishvili to operate. Top tried to curl it around. It does eventually get to Pardon. Turner. Yes, he's heating up. He was 4 of 7 from deep versus Purdue. And he gives Northwestern their first lead of the game. And then DeSumo with his first basket of the game takes that lead right back. job by Northwestern getting the defense of Illinois flowing one way with the dribble to the right then you kick it back to the left well, Sumu no thought he got fouled instead the foul is gonna send us the other direction back to that part and slam watch the misdirection dribble you get the defense flowing one way then you kick it back really good job by Turner of drawing the attention and you had to honor him off the dribble because he's gotten himself going offensively. Illinois responded, then a good kickback. Good job by Northwestern to clearing that left side of the floor for Pardon. And that foul was on DeSumo. He now has three personals. But he's staying on the floor right now. Turner. Northwestern is five of five from the floor this half. A nice job by Pardon of giving himself up. He walled off to Sean Feely. Frazier slips right through. Well, I thought he got fouled. I thought that might have been an and one. Contact or no contact, a tough finish. Frazier has seven. Harden. Oh! He thought he got fouled. Now a numbers advantage, and Osumu takes advantage. Well, on the, on the miss by part, they wasted no time to the fighting Illini of getting the ball up the floor and nothing easy so far for DeSumo, but a good job of maintaining his concentration and watch the brush right across the head, right there, just enough to draw the attention of the officials and a chance for an and one for the freshman. The five-star prize recruit from right here in Chicago. Starting to pick up the offensive pace a bit. Again, another body in the form of De La Rosa out there to try to wear down hard while Bashanisvili gets a rest. It's been this man with the ball that's had a great start to the half. Turner with eight this half. And 12 on the game. Gaines. Knocked out, it'll stay here, 10 to shoot. 178th all-time meeting between these in-state rivals. It's a good one. So, you're tonight by James Palmer, but Bashanishvili right now, he's sitting on 20 for Illinois, Sean. And especially with the way Bashanishvili established himself early, Brandon, and the fact that five field goals here in the second half by Illinois all have been inside. Look for that theme to continue. Great effort by James Palmer in scoring those 34. He got to the line 22 times and helped lift Nebraska over Rutgers. Would have broken the record if he'd have hit his free throw percentage. Yeah, yeah, because he was 14 to 22 at the stripe in that game. And now we got a good one in the nightcap. Jay Turner, you mentioned yep. he's been hot from three as of late. And he sensed that he had the mismatch yep. with De La Rosa and took advantage. So much quicker than the big fella, and he shows you why there. 
Frazier trying to drop it off for De La Rosa, but it comes down to part. Now Miller cuts right to the rim. And a good job by Northwestern of pushing the pace and getting an easy basket. And then Desumu frantic the other way, and here we go left to right. Cop, corner three. In and out. Can live with that. You push the pace, you spread the floor, cop hit a couple early. I'm impressed with how Northwestern has kept the pace up. They've got the two-point lead. Back door, Dosumu kicks out. Frazier misses. Ryan Greer. Miller Cop guarded tightly by Demonte Williams. Uses the screen from Hart. Extra pass, Tanner three, short. Got his own miss. And lays it in. That was very close to a double dribble. The play off. Taylor gets to the basket for his first points of the night. Dosumu. Nice wraparound pass. Kipper Nichols offensive rebound. Might try to get Frazier going downhill with his stronger left hand with Taylor guarding him here. Good job of forcing him right. Good job by good job by Klopp of moving his feet. And Dosumu lost his footing. Parton leaves for Turner. Turner's first miss of the half. He was 4 of 4 before that. And Frazier is fouled by Ryan Greer. Miller Cobb making his presence known on the offensive end, but watch him defensively, keeping DeSumo moving his feet, active hands, leads to a turnover. Really good job by Cobb because they cleared out that side of the floor, did the fighting Illini for DeSumo, and Cobb did not bite. Great performance, 11.6 rebounds for Cobb. And as we've seen, solid defense. And Frazier free throw breaks a drought of three minutes and 11 seconds for the fighting Illini. Now, next time down the floor with Derek Parton trying to get a little bit of a rest, Bashan Asvili will be isolated down there on the block with Benson. I'm going to be shocked if Illinois doesn't sense that, clear out a side of the floor and pound the ball inside to Bashan Asvili. I'm holding you to that. All right. Frazier with nine. Georgie sat for almost four minutes. I don't think that's going to be happening down the stretch. Benson. Two defenders in there. He needs some help. Turner back to Benson. And he buries the mid-range jumper. Benson is fouled, but he couldn't throw it down. 
Well, really good execution. Again, utilizing the misdirection, you kick it back. Then the post feed from high low, and Derek Martin able to get some rest on the floor. His teammates holding down the floor more than admirably here in the United Center. Legends aren't born. We haven't had one guy in the inning has even stepped up to the challenge of Tom. Coach Underwood hit it right on the head. 14 points to lead Northwestern by A.J. Turner. Ten of those coming in the second half. Also getting his teammates involved. Five assists, only two turnovers. If you follow this guy's career, when he was at Boston College, he led the ACC in assist turnover ratio. Saw that note at the bottom. Of the nine field goals this half, Turner has either scored or assisted on eight of them. To your point, Sean, he's been sensational. Right. One of two for Barrett Benson. <laughs> Illinois led almost the entire first half, but now Northwestern seizing a little control here in half number two. <laughs> Inside the shot is Philly, finds himself wide open. Delayed roll by Bashan is feeling a breakdown in communication between the Northwestern defenders something rare that we've seen so far Northwestern has been really stout defensively and a Really good feed by Andres Feliz Air ball but right to Benson and He was fouled Back to Bashanishvili. Bashanishvili, keep an eye on him right here as this play unfolds. You slip it, delay, dive, break down a communication. If you're foul zone, you cannot leave him. You'll give up a three. You can't allow a roll to the rim, but especially with how much Bashanishvili's been able to get it done, just a defensive lapse. He has gotten it done. 18 field goals made for Illinois. Bashanishvili has 10 of them. Here's Turner, Brad Underwood challenging his team to guard this guy better. And Bashan is really with the defense and the rebound. And goes to the floor to dig it out. Talk about answering a challenge. Now you've got the freshman, Nance, giving up some experience on Bashan's Billy if they can find him down there. Instead, it's Jordan floating. Jordan went up with the intention of pass and then had to bail himself out with a shot. Gains to Greer. Charge. Greer, yep, offensive foul. You see that? Yeah, you really could. really could. You know, you got to dribble with a purpose. You're not going anywhere. You know, that's just a freshman mistake. And the junior college transfer, Felice, saw that coming, took it right in the chest. Third foul for Greer. He says, my bad. He takes a seat. Harden back in there right now after that brief rest. Those two are battling. They're still battling. they got to watch themselves on both ends because they're playing a lot from... The numbers up in terms of those arms flailing around. Police, good kick. Frazier, got it. Boy, Police, really solid floor game. Continuing his outstanding play as of late. Kind of using what Northwestern has done against Illinois against them. You get the misdirection dribble, then you kick it back. And Police, this is fourth assist of the game. And that started with the misdirection dribble. You get the Northwestern defense flowing to the right, then you kick it back to the left over the top, utilizing that skip pass. And it's different where you have to hit a shooter. He's a left-handed shooter, and rather than get it down to, toward his right hip, he got it toward his left. A little blood for Georgie Bashanishvili, so he's going to have to go over and get that taken care of. By rule, he can stay on the court. As long as they can take care of the issue promptly, he can stay in the game. What a game, though. 48 all. Great crowd here, as we expected. Two teams 
pride in this state, a lot of pride on the line tonight. And we've been treated to a good one. This weekend, it's the 2019 Big Ten Men's Ice Hockey Tournament. Semifinals Saturday, Notre Dame and Minnesota. Then on Sunday, it's Ohio State and Penn State facing off all this weekend on BTN and the Fox Sports app. This might not be a bad time if you're Northwestern to try to get the ball inside the pardon and stem this momentum that's kind of started to swing the way of the fighting line on. And Illinois, on that situation, going a little zone, giving Northwestern something different to think about here. See how they attack it. Five to shoot. Nice look. Turner, he's been the man. Offensive rebound gains. Back to Turner. And he is fouled. Aaron Jordan with a personal. And that shows you the continued progression of Derek Park. Understanding that they wanted to play through him and rather than force a shot along the baseline, he kicked it out. Now they're not able to make the initial offering, but it kept the possession alive until Gaines able to clean it up with the offensive window. AJ Turner goes to line to shoot two. Big second half for Turner. Both teams pretty similar numbers, shooting right around 40%. Eight turnovers for Illinois, seven for Northwestern. I've been impressed with Northwestern. I didn't know that they had this fight left in them. And, and the, with the pressure that has been exerted by Illinois, especially in the absence of Vic Law, one of your more experienced ball handlers, to only have seven turnovers, really impressive. And they come in losers of 11 of their last 12, but they are fighting here tonight. Oh, good job. Nice job until Martin's able to come back down and help. Here's the matchup. Wow. The freshman does it again. He has 24. He did that in the first half. The identical play. They try to take away his left hand, but that he shows him the ability to utilize sound footwork, keep that pivot foot anchor coming to the opposite side, and shield yourself from the shot blocker part. Around the arc to Taylor. Good block out by Jordan here on Pardon. See if they go back to Bishanashvili. Oh, yeah. He's a good passer as well. Watch the slip. Dosumu curls around to him. He's made his last seven shots. He wants to go at it again. Nice help by Turner. Watch the shot clock. A shot clock violation. Watch the footwork of Bashanis Vili. You can score with either hand. You keep that pivot foot anchored until you leave the floor, and then you're able to utilize the rim to shield yourself from Pardon, who is one of the elite shot blockers in this league, but he wasn't given the opportunity there. And then good team defense getting the ball out of Bashanis Vili's hand. Taylor remains cold. Pardon cleans up the mess. Northwestern was destroyed in second chance points versus Purdue 17 nothing not the case here tonight They are ice cold from outside five of 24 But even though they haven't been hitting their threes, they're still up by a penny Hey, I set up the thermostat oh, sweet. We're getting all digital with that thermostat. You deserve the sweet reward of a Our agent today Uh, three days, two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet put their perfect records on the line at AT&T Stadium. Harold Spence taking on Mikey Garcia for the World Welterweight Championship Saturday, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, live on pay-per-view. And we got a good fight here tonight between Illinois and Northwestern. Seven lead changes. All of them have come this half as we go back and forth. Bashan has really been the story inside for the fighting Illini, but how about the job Northwestern has done handling this relentless pressure put forth by the fighting Illini of Illinois? They forced 16 turnovers per ball game. So far tonight, Northwestern only seven miscues. That has been a huge story. Just one turnover this half for Northwestern. Good job by Pardon of beating Bashan has really to the spot. Bashan has really hands to Frazier. 
Felice, three to shoot. Frazier, five parts, and a little floater. Good patience and not panicking by Frazier. He could have settled for a contested three, but he saw that it was Pardon coming at him, able to turn the corner, able to utilize his quickness advantage over the big toe. He's got 14, does Frazier, right at his season average. Hey, I got it, I got it. Northwestern's three-point shooting shot continues to be called 5 of 25. Boy, they miss Mashana's Feely on the roll there. Felice is going to back it up. Rejects the ball screen and misses the runner. Shot clock didn't reset. Rebound to Miller Cox. Corner three. Off the mark, A.J. Turner. Turner's momentum was carrying him toward the bench rather than toward the basket. And a miss three, exchange for a miss three. Even against this zone defense, not a bad time to try to get a post touch somewhere for part. I was going to say, with all these missed three-pointers, they go into paint there, but it's Gaines. And that's what they were trying to do, but Gaines cut in there, took his man with him, as well as the opportunity to get that to part. Dosumu, cross-court to Frazier. Frazier, back to Dosumu. Long rebound to Falzo. Inside of five and a half to go. 52 to 51 in the nightcap for the United Center. Cop. Oh. Northwestern, nine straight misses from downtown. Yeah, and that's one you can live without. Yes, he's knocked down a couple, but Brandon, you didn't force Illinois to defend the entire defensive real estate. The ball never switched sides of the floor. Like you said, get that back to Derek Hart. Two big boys tangling inside. And they're going to get that on Derek Parton. And Parton's running a big claw out with that leg injury. That has to be such a helpless feeling for him. Now because of that collision in the home regular season finale versus Purdue. And he and uh, Carson Edwards bump shins. That's 15 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists that are in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And Bashan Esfili has to watch himself here for this reason, okay? He got the benefit of the doubt when they got caught up high in terms of post-play with Pardon. Now, in this out-of-bounds situation, don't draw your attention to yourself with the officials by trying to do the same thing. The whistles are going to start to come. The play is getting more and more physical. That one on foul zone. I bet they're going to try to run the same thing and go right back at foul zone. And there's the 17 foul. So Illinois will shoot the rest of the way. And Northwestern got caught in a switch. Breakdown in communication. Frazier was able to sense that, and you had Pardon that was kind of caught, as we saw with the scoring opportunity a couple possessions ago. Frazier recognized it, the hesitation dribble, just enough to turn the corner. Three fouls on this possession alone. That's the first point we've had in this game in over two and a half minutes. Frazier solid from the line at 74%. You look at his numbers, 15 points, but it's been kind of a quiet 15 points for Trent Frazier. They get 16. And that made free throw allows Illinois to extend the defense three-quarter court again. Chris Collins, 
sensing that the crowd is getting into it for the fighting Illini, he takes the timeout. Hi, I'm just looking at my account, and I've got all this extra cash back. Yep. Georgie Pashan has really established himself in the first half as an offensive force, and that is carried over here oh, yeah. in the second as Northwestern has really battled hard, but when he's been able to isolate himself one-on-one, -on -one, his ability to score over even, either shoulder and utilize outstanding footwork is a big reason that the Fighting Illini enjoy this slim lead. He's 11 of 14, rest of the team 10 of 38, and... Northwestern's got to get Derek Parton going. Just get him a touch and force Illinois to react defensively because you mentioned the fact that Northwestern's gone through a little bit of a scoring drought. You might be able to get a shot for a guy like Miller Cobb or A.J. Turner with a post-touch by Parton drawing the defense attention from the fighting Illini. And Illinois going with a little bit of a 1-2-2 two, two zone look. Flatting it out here. Inside the part. Yeah, it was a great feed from Miller Cobb. And a really good job by Northwestern out of that timeout to go right back where you felt they needed to, and that was to Derek Park. Big battle with 15 for the Wildcats. Aaron Jordan inside, back out to Frazier. Good defense by Northwestern forces Jordan to retreat. Now to Sumu, but a pretty quiet game for him with five points. Dishes out to Jordan. Air ball out of bounds. We go the other way. 3.59 to go. One point game. Hey, who are you? Pardon with the offensive rebound. A.J. Turner hits the three with 11 seconds left. Northwestern wins it by two. 68-66. Right now, it's Illinois by one. 2013, Brandon Paul made the Fighting Illini smile. Every Chicago kid imagines this moment. Tie game, ball in your hands, United Center crowd on its feet. Brandon Paul was one of those kids. Brandon drives, pull up for the win. But he didn't imagine it. He lived it. He got it! He got it! Brandon Paul and the Illini. What a moment. That was back in 2013, and now we are back at the United Center. Will we maybe have a moment like that this evening? We're going down to the wire, and it's close, that's for sure. It may not have been the most, up to this point, aesthetically pleasing game, but the effort of both of these teams has been superlative. And I, I can't say enough about what Northwestern has done to withstand the pressure put forth by Illinois on the defensive end of the floor. Still only seven turnovers for Northwestern. They've had success going inside. Nine of 14 from two-point range this half. Two of 11 from outside the arc. Where will they go here? Steal by the shot. It's Billy. And the big man takes it coast to coast. Western. Let's take a look at this message from ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire and the official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Hiring was always a huge challenge. Endless hours on job sites with not a lot to share. Utilizing the inside hand. Watch where he comes on that reversal. The inside hand doesn't go with the right hand. Inside hand delivery. It's a really good all-around play by the freshman Georgia Bashanis Billy, who has been wonderful tonight on his way to 26 points. Talked about Northwestern not turning the ball over. That was their first miscue in seven minutes. Bashanis Billy now with 26. Turner with the answer. And was his foot on the line? That's what they're going to take a peek at. For the moment, it's a three-pointer. The previous play is in the video review. Sponsored by SoFi Rethinking Personal Finance. Three timeouts for Illinois, and you see the foul situation. Oh, 
Three minutes to go. Frazier takes it to the rim. And again, they isolate on that side of the floor, and Bashan Isfili takes Pardon up the lane, then walls off. That allowed a clear path to the rim for Frazier. Really good, solid post play by Bashan Isfili. He has 13 of his 18 this half. Pardon coming right back the other way and drawing the foul on Bashanishvili. On the dribble drive right here. A little bit of contact. Clearly a foul. The third on Georgie Bashanishvili. Two shots for Derek Park. I said it late in the season with Northwestern was struggling, Sean. What a career this kid has had. He is a great young man, and I never would want to face him in his last potential game like Illinois is right here. Has improved every single year he's been in college. You can't ask for more than that. He's got 16 big points, and we are all even at 58. Dosumu kicks it out. Frazier, good shot fake. Turner high for the board. You've got two shooters in respective corners. Foul zone in the far side. You had Cobb here on the near side till he came up top. Now they overload the right side of the floor. Looking down. Well, Pardon was telling not to pass it in there. He stared it down way too long. That allowed the orange jerseys to rotate. Just a freshman mistake by Cobb. Yeah, Derek Pardon was pointing to the corner saying, don't pass it in here. But he did the turnover, and now Brad Underwood is going to take the timeout. So two remaining timeouts for earlier over Rutgers, 68-61, and what's been a fantastic opening Wednesday. What did Brad Underwood draw up in that timeout? Oh, he didn't draw that up. Gaines with a steal. Bashanish Billy picking up his fourth foul, trying to recover. And a smart play by Gaines in the open floor. And what I mean by that, he didn't just dribble in a straight line. He dribbled off to the side and got the trailing defender from Illinois on his back. That didn't allow an opportunity to come from behind. Now watch this play, end to end. Now watch with this, right here. Dribble right into, rather than in a straight line, because if he doesn't do that, it's gonna have a better angle for Bashanis Billy to come in and clean up the mess. Gaines a 78% shooter. And Gaines cuts off the angle. Ooh. A lot of ball there. But I think what drew the attention of the official was the fact that he swung down on it. Nevertheless, a nice play in the open floor by Gaines. Good hustle by Deshaun's view. Right, hey, hey, hey. Falzone tapped it out for the offensive rebound. <laughs> Northwestern by one. One ten to go. Turner. Gaines slips through, kicks the cop. The freshman, short. One minute remaining. One minute. And what that offensive rebound did is it shortened the game for Northwestern, allowing them to burn more clock and putting more pressure on Illinois on this end. Where does Illinois go? But Seanish Billing has been the man with 26. Frazier has 18. Common foul will be a one and one. Felice blocked by Cobb, and then Cobb found him, and Felice got it to go. Just a bad break for Northwestern. Nice job by Cobb of not giving up on the play, but you thought a dribble drive from Felice was forthcoming. Good seal again by Bashanis Feely, and that's just a bad break for Miller Cobb. Wonderful court awareness 
by police on both ends. One, understanding he had the mismatch in terms of quickness, and he had the ball going downhill with his strong hand, and then he didn't give up on the play after his initial offering was sent back. Two-point lead for the Fighting Illini with 35 seconds remaining. And you mentioned 35 seconds remaining, 30-second shot clock. So if Illinois does their job and does not allow another offensive rebound as they did in the last sequence, they'll have an opportunity to either seal this game or, depending on what Northwestern's able to do offensively, give themselves a chance at the last shot. Doug Collins, father of Chris, looking on as a nervous father would. What a game. Ten lead changes on in the second half. A.J. Turner's going to set it up. Turner drives, and he gets fouled, and that's the fifth on Georgie Bashanish Philly. The ninth time this year that the freshman has fouled out of a game. And they clear that side of the floor. Bashan is really trying to make sure that he doesn't allow an easy touch for a pardon. And Turner able to get the ball on the floor out in front of him and draw the contact. But he may be done for the night, but what a performance by Bashan Isvili, not just here in the United Center, easy call. There's a bump there before the shot goes up. Future's bright for that young man, as it is for the Illinois program with so many young guys getting quality, quality minutes. Well, he and DeSumo, two freshmen, led them in scoring in conference play. And Frazier only a sophomore in his own run. But Bashan Isvili is done. And now Turner needs to hit both to tie us back up. Gets the first. One of these teams likely to see their season end here tonight. For a few possessions ago, it was a back tap by Falzone that kept something alive for Northwestern. What a second half for Turner. 16 points of his 20 in the second half. They've got a timeout if they want to use it here. They may get it over half court and use it. That's exactly what they'll do. With 14.5 to go. Two in-state rivals, the rubber match. Right down to the wire we go. If you're Northwestern defensively, you have to emphasize defensive integrity and patience. And what I mean by that, Brandon, is look for Illinois. We March 3rd, Illinois got revenge. Here we are on March 13th, the rubber match, and it has been fantastic. Everybody in this building standing. This is March. Big Ten tournament time. The winner stays around. The loser goes home. Remember a common foul on a dribble drive. It's a one and one. Felice drives. Got it blocked. One point two to go. It stays with Illinois. They have no timeouts. No, no question that they will take a look at possession here. And that means kind of a free timeout for Brad Underwood. Looking at possession and also keep in mind the clock. Every tenth of a second is precious. At least able to turn the corner. How about the contest by Gaines? Foul zone may have gotten away with a foul. It did look like it hit off the left hand of foul zone. I think watch the rotation of the basketball. That's always a pretty good indicator as well. Brandon, nice job by Gaines of coming over there and contesting it. And then watch, it looks like the rotation changes a little bit. Right there. Ooh. Maybe just a tad. That is tough. Tough to tell. Try to zoom in as best we can here. 
You know, the thing, Brandon, when you take a look at this stuff, sometimes frame by frame, sometimes you might, you're so focused, you might see something that you actually didn't, for want of a better term, actually see because it's just so, the detail is so minute. Wow, that is incredibly close. And, and you know, folks at home have heard this a lot, but it has to be indisputable proof yes. to overturn something like that. I don't know if you and I, from where we're sitting on the monitor that we're taking a look at right now, would see anything that would lead to them overturning what was the initial call on the floor. Yeah, I'm with you. It's important to keep in mind, they ruled it Illinois basketball. All right, one more look. Let's see if we can discern anything here. I mean, how about the effort by Gaines to come over and help out his teammate Falzone? Because it looked like it looked like uh, Felice was going to have a clear path to the rim. Ooh, now, from that angle, it doesn't look like he hit it there at Falzone. Watch that left hand. That's pretty far behind the ball. But it looked like it might be the trailing hand of Gaines might have gotten a hand on it. Again, we're taking a look at this on a monitor that's, uh, you know, pretty small. The folks at home may have an 80 inch. I think what they're trying to do as well is make sure that when the ball goes out of bounds, that the 18 points. Dosumu will be the inbounder. And Pete Nance in there to provide an obstacle for the inbound. Oh, boy, wide open. Right into Felice, but it's blocked near the rim. And we have overtime at the United Center. Wow, it looked like he got wide open. But the defense recovered. How about the design of the out-of-bounds play? Again, you saw two cuts. Looked like Northwestern was focused on keeping the ball out of the hands of Frazier, and then it's Felice filling in. Just a wonderful recovery right there by Part. You can't draw it up any better or execute more efficiently other than the conversion if you're Illinois. It was Derek Parton, the senior, disrupting the play. Buffalo Wild Wings. No, that's a senior who came over and disrupted the shot. So Bashanishvili can only sit and watch. Nobody else in this game has more than three personal fouls. In a really small team right now on the floor for the Fighting Illini, witnessed by the fact Kipper Nichols is jumping center. Yeah, he's 6'6". Six, six. So Parton easily controls the tap. Tough on the catch, Parton oh, somehow hands. kept it and kicked it out to foul zone for three. How about the hands by Parton? A lot of guys, that would have been a turnover, but he got his hands on it and the presence of mind to kick it to foul zone. Oh, Frazier nearly lost it. Dosumu, it's been a quiet night for the five-star kid from Chicago. He's got it here. He's going to work. Kicks it out. Three to shoot. Jordan, tough runner. We have seen some big plays offensively, defensively. What a dandy. Falzone, same spot. He got fouled. And that's where. You just have to close out under control on Falzone. If you make Aaron Falzone put the ball on the floor, you've done your job. So come out hands high. Yeah, and he got him. Got him on the follow through. Watch the bottom right there. No question that left hand hit his right hand. And three shots for Aaron Falzone. This season was highlighted by that 21 point performance against Indiana on January 2nd. He has struggled shooting the ball since. 
but he has eight points tonight as he misses the last free throw. And if you're Illinois, of course, look at the time and score. No need to settle for a quick three. He scored the last time with a dribble drive by Jordan. You don't need to start hoisting threes here. They go down to Kipper Nichols. Against the bigger part. Does Sumu. Now Andres Feliz. Whistle on the floor. At least 77 percent. And again, you force Northwestern to exert a lot of energy defensively. You draw the foul with seven seconds on the shot clock. So one and one. The next foul will be double bonus. Tell you what, Felice, eight points, eight rebounds, five assists. He's really come on in the last eight to ten games of the conference slate for the fighting lineup. One point game inside of 330. Good flash by Cobb. Really good job by Cobb of making himself available. It's Turner with it. He'll pull. Rebound of police. What a block out by Jordan on. Derek Parton. And then Felice almost lost it. Kicked it to Frazier for the three. Started with the blockout by Aaron Jordan because that shot was caroming to the far side, and Jordan gave himself up and put his body into the offensive rebounding potential of Parton. Our 12th lead change. Could we have a 13th lead change? No. Great block by Nasumu. Nice contest again. Aaron Jordan, the last two times down the floor, has been stellar on the defensive end. First with the blockout, then I think he got a piece of that shot from Falzon. Illinois trying to make it a two possession game. Frazier, extra pass to Sumo. Got it! Someone's got to get in the high post. It's Gaines in the high post. Harden out to Turner. Ooh, oh, almost a steal. Foul zone. Yes! That stops the 8-0 run. Man, is this fun? Yeah. Beats working. Absolutely. 71-69. Back and forth we go. Well, I tell you what. Gaines is hurt. His hip is hurt right now. If they can get the ball to Frazier going downhill, I don't know if Gaines can keep him in front. He's defending right here. He gives it up, this Frazier. Good job right there by Turner of moving his feet. Felice with two on the shot clock. He puts it off the window. One minute to go in overtime. Here's Part. AJ Turner. Good closeout. Nice team defense. Parton kicked it out. Gaines follows his own miss. Almost a walk. Falzon. Well, he has all eight Northwestern points in overtime, but a big miss there and then the foul. I love the unselfish play by Parton, but he would have been better served to score in a four-point game. Let's take a look at a few possessions ago. You keep the dribble alive. Frazier able to step into the three. 41% conversion rate. Then the extra pass to Sumu, who had been quiet offensively, knocks down another three. But foul zone. This is what he does. Quick release, bottom of the well. And then Felice turns the corner, able to put his shoulder into the rim and through the freshman Miller Cop. Brad Underwood's squad, five trips offensively in overtime with five baskets. And now Jordan 
Knocks down the first free throw. And certainly, Illinois not looking for a steal, but a little bit of token three-court pressure on a make here. I'm going to be surprised if they don't utilize that. But he misses. 30 seconds. Both teams have a timeout. The Wildcats need a basket. Off the side of the backboard, but Carden gets it. What a battle. Cop in the corner. Rebound to Felice. And a foul with 9.1 to go, and Illinois up a handful. The unsung hero of this overtime, in my opinion, has been the defensive play of Aaron Jordan. Whether it be contesting three-point shots or when the game was still extremely close, giving up his body to block out Derek Parton on a potential second chance opportunity. It may not be something that shows up in the proverbial box score, but anyone that has been watching this ball game understands the value put forth by Jordan here tonight. That's a senior from Plainfield, Illinois. And on the other side, a senior that has had to watch it all night, Vic Law with the injury. And Derek Parton is just checked out of the game for likely the final time in his career. And Chris Collins has spoken long and hard about how great of a kid he is. Turner, no. It took overtime, but Illinois outlasts Northwestern 74 to 69. Wow, what a basketball game. Well, Andres Felice was the difference in terms of from the foul line. The last time these two teams met in Champaign going 16 of 17. How about tonight? You follow that up with your